Oh, hi. I'm Jamila Jamil, and welcome to my Marie Claire UK cover shoot. I find it hilarious whenever I am sort of set up as some sort of icon of body positivity because that's not who I am at all. I actually subscribe to body neutrality, which for me is way more liberating. You know, I'm someone who suffered with an eating disorder for 20 years, still struggle with body dysmorphia. So I can't do the whole standing in front of my mirror saying, I love myself, I love my stretch marks, I love my cellulite. So it's really fucking hard to love something that society is always telling you and manipulating you and almost forcing you to hate and you shouldn't feel bad about yourself if you can't get up to that place of love just try to get to neutrality try to get to gratitude for the ways in which your body functions I hated my tits for so long I developed really young I think I was like 12 when I was a double D and just the immediate attention I got from men everywhere I went and also because they grew so fast they were covered in these giant red track marks these stretch marks and so I used to hate them I used to try and pad them down and wear like four sports bras yeah I've started I started to kind of like them I like them. I love the stretch marks on top of them because I do associate stretch marks with taking up space. They are proof that I took up space in this world where I wasn't supposed to and I find that really just rebellious and cool. On The Good Place, uh, often a makeup artist would try and like come in with a sponge and cover up my stretch marks and I would almost have to like slap the hand away and just explain how offensive it is to try and cover up a part of me. What's really grown as I've gotten older is just my confidence in who I am what life am I gonna look back on? I don't want it to be on how small I managed to get my waist to be. God, if there was an app that could tell me how many hours I spent thinking about how I wasn't pretty enough or thin enough, rather than focusing on my studies or my happiness or my mental health or blowjob skills, um, the, these are all things that I didn't work on when I was younger. And so what I decided was around the age of 28 that I was no longer going to live like that. My body is my best friend, and a best friend can let you down from time to time, but generally, no one is there for me the way that my body is. No one works harder for my well-being than my body, and it's the thing that we should be protecting most, but women in particular are taught to hate and attack it and harm it, to pump it and laser it and shave it. The um, amount of torture we are taught to enact on these amazing bodies we're hurting our best friends. I promise you, you are enough.